Into this, you know what I'm saying? Quitter, Everlast, this, you know, Everlast was a was a nigga who got killed by Eminem. That's the only reason why he's known today. Everlast and Eminem had beef because Everlast switched from hip hop to hip -hop country. Hip hop to country well. is insane. What the fuck? So he did the reverse MGK? No, he did. No, he did. He did the he he did the Jason AJK. AJK. MGK went from rap to rock. Yo, I dedicate this <laughs> to yo. To all my fans, keeping y'all in hell. Let's tell this mighty Ford to go fuck himself. Cause it's cruel when you cause a bad heart conditioning. Which I create, cause that's my mission. So listen close to what we say. Because this type of fact claims to never be gay. I knew you was jealous from the day that I met you. I set you, cause I give respect, I pet you. I'm even like better by your niece and nephew. And now you hate friends because lethal left you. Like a wood man, cause this wrecking went wood. No respect in the hood. Why he say I'm even like better by your niece and nephew? Why he say that? Because they know who Eminem is. They don't know who this nigga is. Like, oh my god, daddy, that's Eminem type shit. Oh, okay, okay. I, I'm assuming. I don't know. I was the first time hearing. That's it. probably what it is. And then he said your record with Triple Wood because I know that because academics be saying when shit don't sell a thousand, they be saying your shit. Oh, Triple Wood. Wood is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Triple Wood is crazy. <laughs> nah, nah. That's he said crazy. when Sweetie shit sold two K, she said her shit went double wood in the hood. Uh, <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> Nigga said triple wood. I pet you. I'm even like better by your niece and nephew. And now you hate friends because lethal left you. Neck of wood, man. Cause this wrecking went wood. No respect in the hood. Led to his neck of the woods. Got in touch with his roots. Found a red neck in his blood. And said, hey, country western rap records are good. So he puts it to the you know he can't rap or sing, but he wants to do both. Puts an album out on rules for part of the year. This kid rock and limp biscuit come from out of nowhere. It's the start of an air rock. Nigga said, I don't even need to see your name. I don't even need to say them niggas' names, bro. They not relevant enough. What we know about Limp Biscuit? I know about Limp Biscuit. It's the it's the rock and um the rock rap rap guys. You know what I'm saying? They have they have some okay songs. They have some decent. Songs. I don't know, Jesus. Maybe you gotta ask him, bro. No, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you say he had a heart condition. Uh, that's why he kept talking about his heart. <laughs> nah, nah, that's so true. Like, nigga, what? I glanced at you, and now you try to diss me? Like, bro, come on, bro. I don't even know nigga, who the hell you are. Nigga bro. said, you ain't show me no love. You ain't stand no business to show me love. <laughs> Why these niggas show me love? I need love. See, if I, see, I was the first white rapper to say the n word. That's what he said. Like, like, like. <laughs> I mean, if I know you ain't saying that, yet, but like. Like, bro, who the hell is this nigga Everlast? That's funny as fuck. I, I think it said, even oh this my existed, God. But. Come over to you. You better shut your fucking mouth while you over two. Back in 94, I live open the show for you. Rocked the crowd better and stole the whole show from you. Took your motherfucking DJ and stole him too. So you fall in a slump and get all emotional. So now you sing and mix slang with blues and plus strings. Confused as fuck, cause now your music sucks dick. Mr. <laughs> I like, I like this is funny as fuck. Nigga said, <laughs> nah, bro. Because I'm just, I'm just imagining an old ass nigga with a guitar trying to rap and shit and thinking he finna do some shit, bro. <laughs> he was probably spitting them old ass Dr. Seuss rhymes too. That's nasty work. How you go from country to uh to rap though? That's a crazy, that's a crazy transition, bro. Mr. Ass Kisser to get accepted in rap quicker but never last and never last is a quitter. Cause I came alone. In the days of house and pain of gold. Talk about my little girl in a song again. I'ma kill you. I'ma kill you. You just a quitter. You bitter cause I came alone. In the days of house and pain of gold. Talk about my little girl in a song again. I'ma kill you.
ever see ever last. Whoop his ass. Hit him with sticks. <laughs> Boss, Boss, he said, crash out. Crash out. He said, if you really an Eminem stand, beat the fuck out this nigga. Nah, this is it hard. This <laughs> nigga say if you ever see him whoop his ass. All right. <laughs> Look at the next line. Hit him with sticks and bricks, rocks, throw his shit at him. Like this thing's That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm not bro. gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. If it was this, if it was this day and age, nah, it, 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 that nigga might be dead. I'm not gonna lie. Like, yeah, yeah, because niggas would actually do some shit like that. <laughs> they actually slide, bro. Like niggas slide for their for their fans for their things like OC now, bro. You could not say this today, bro. He actually might have died. If you ever see him last, whoop his ass. Hit him with sticks, bricks, rocks, throw shit at him, kick him, spit on him, treat him like a hoe, bitch slap him. Do it for me, do it for Fred, do it for Lip, do it for Rock, do it for Rap, do it for Kid, do it for Ice T, do it just to do it. Fuck it, he's a bitch. He ain't gonna hit you back. He's nothing. Sit in five years for more. <laughs> nigga, the Eminem fan said, but I'm 5'5. Five, five. Nigga, he ain't gonna hit you back. <laughs> <laughs> nigga said, no, nigga said, nigga said, I, I'm crippled. Nigga, he not gonna hit you back. <laughs> he, not gonna, he not gonna hit you back. It's okay. <laughs> nigga, That's nigga, funny as nigga, well. Steve, nigga said, Stevie Wonder, he not gonna hit you back. <laughs> 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 he not gonna hit you back. <laughs> oh my God. That's funny as hell. Do it for rock, do it for rap, do it for kid, do it for iced tea, do it just to do it. Fuck it, he's a bitch, he ain't gonna hit you back, he's nothing. Said in five years, we'll all be eating your whiteies, and they'll be busting tables in that bitch, cleaning the toilets. Hey yo, fuck this, cut this shit off. Hey yo, head. Hold on That's why I fucked your mother, you fat motherfucker. <laughs> okay. Hold on. <laughs> nah, three D CDs, nobody. Nah, this shit hard. This shit hard. I'm not this shit, this, Eminem, this one of the hardest diss tracks I've ever heard. I can't even lie. Eminem with a flow switch. I didn't know. He That's did crazy, this. bro. I, I with a flow switch. Nah, this shit hard, bro. This I like. Like, I like, like Drew, Drew, you miss it out, bro. This shit is hard, bro. <laughs> like, I knew that you were hard, hard, but you, you're probably harder than I thought. See, I was trying to tell Kareem you were hard, but I didn't even know you were this hard. I don't know. Nah, nah, the flow switch, and he flipped the beat. I'm telling you, bro. Hit him up is a good. It's a good track, bro. Shaq be hating on hit him up, bro. This shit is good, bro. Come on, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He did the same shit Tupac did. Yeah. He did the same shit Tupac yeah. did. Hold on now. Oh, and you said that that Tupac shit. Now, that shit is hard, bro. Okay, that's, that's exactly what Tupac yeah. did, bro. We talk about we talk about lyricism with Eminem. Come on, Tupac. bro. It's nah, not man, even... I'm not gonna lie. On this on this beat, he he just call he just called him gay. Let's be honest. But uh, okay, I mean, if... the the first shit was hard. This first shit was hard though. But we'll see what D12 got. We'll see what D12 got. You know what I'm saying hopefully they as good as uh Mob Deep because Mob Deep was going. It wasn't Mob Deep. No, nah, it wasn't Mob Deep. Who was who was the one that Tupac brought onto his song afterwards? I don't know. Was it Mob I, Deep? I don't know. I don't know. Nah, they nah they were dissing Mob Deep. I forgot. We got we got to react to that diss. That I think that diss is good, bro. Get out the way, yo. Get out the way, yo. Whitey Ford's hard to stop. He said. Back. He had another heart attack. Whitey Ford's getting his ass floored for talking back. You little faggot and I'm running up. I'll show you what I'm running up. At your own restaurant, while yeah, I'm it. serving up. Drop the stalk, your whole heart till it stops. Call the cops. I'ma beat your ass while he wants. Now we got the whole industry making fun of you, Eric. Where's your house of pain now? It's only one of you, Eric. You a petty coward. You ain't ready to stay. Go around with some killers from seven miles of the motherfucking Bella Bridge. Grab through 80s when you see Slim Shady. Call the doctor. 
Was he fat? <laughs> Hold on. Fat. We gotta look, look hey, he was fat. Look, I, I gotta look up a picture of this nigga. Say he had too many Big Macs. Yeah, his, name cheese cheese burgers. his name is Everlast. His name is Everlast. I'll look him up. You said Eminem lyrics always resonate because I can feel that bro's a natural boy hater. <laughs> nah, he is really just a hater. They said this is a different type of beef. <laughs> nigga had too many cheeseburgers. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I do think he probably had like maybe four or five too many Big Macs. Uh, maybe six too many quarter pounders, and uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie. This is when he went to country, nigga. Had this when he went to country. <laughs> <Look at this. laughs> he's he's nah, doing it. Did, did Eminem right, do bro. his pose? Did Eminem do yeah. his pose, bro? Oh my god, <laughs> nah, this is nasty. Nigga was, nigga was, at least MGK bro. had his own shit. Nigga was actually trying. To I be know, him. bro. What is this? White devil, washed up monkey, mixed up cracker, crossed over the country. Oh, hey yo, fuck uh, this shit off. Yeah, fuck him. That's it. I'm done. I promise. I'm done. That's it. I'm no sorry. More. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I promise. I just believe in kicking a man while he's down. Hold on. He's spitting. He's spitting. He said, I just believe in kicking a man when he's down. Oh, no. That's funny as hell, bro. That, nah, I'm not going to lie. Jesus, you were right. He, he's a natural boy hater, bro. He believes in kicking a man while he's down. That's a sign <laughs> of a hater. You know what I'm saying? I respect it though. I respect it. You know what's crazy? He Damn. said he said Everlast sold forty nine thousand records. Mention my daughter's name in a song that's, again. You that's actually punk. compared to hey, rappers yo. nowadays, where niggas don't even do the city girls didn't even do like fifteen k, and they have streams out like and you don't have to buy like you, they like like forty nine k with physical album sales is not that bad for. I don't know, not that. Well, bad. well, well. No, no. I will say though, it's it's inflated back then because it's the only way you could get music. So it's so actually a lot harder to sell physically now. Like if you look at Drake shit, all his shit went down. Like everybody who was in the 2010s, most of their shit went down. I, I thought getting to like a, around like like 10k is, is easier. Like obviously you can't do hundreds and millions. Like what niggas were like. No, like, no. I mean 40k is probably is still good, but compared to Eminem, that shit was not. Nah, Eminem, the, Eminem was a, yeah, the most. But famous. but also also back then it's 40k was easier to do than now. Oh, yeah. Said overall thoughts on the diss track. That shit was fire. I this might lie. be. I'm not gonna lie. That, that probably, was probably like. That might this be is this is this, I'm not gonna lie. This is better. So I had Eminem in my top five diss tracks. So I have Ether. I had uh, what is it? Um, Fifty Cent has a diss track I have in there, and I had I had. Oh, we, gotta, I, we gotta listen to that when Drew gets back. I had I had I had Can I Bitch, which was um, which called uh, the Cannabis diss track. This is this is just in there. So I, I didn't even know this diss track existed. I didn't know I didn't know who Everlast was. I'm not gonna lie. This is I knew, fire, bro. I knew who Cannabis was because he's a battle rapper. I didn't know, and I saw this one with Cannabis. Can't can I bitch? But I know about Everlast. This shit is this shit is hard. Nah, this Johan, probably, Johan, you 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 let us you let us to the right diss. This shit probably That's better than Can I? This shit probably better than Can I bitch? I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. He said, I like this diss track because you can tell he did it for the love of hating and nothing else. <laughs> first half, first half for sure. First half was better than the second half. 